If you encounter any problems on your Usha Genomi sewing machine, I can show you a few ways to solve them right at home. If the needle thread breaks, check the machine to see if the needle thread is threaded properly or the needle thread tension is too tight. The needle is bent or blunt. The needle is inserted incorrectly. The fabric is not being drawn to the back after sewing or either the thread is too heavy or too fine for the needle. If the bobbin thread breaks, check the machine to see if the bobbin thread is threaded properly in the bobbin case. Lint has collected in the bobbin case or whether the bobbin is damaged. If the needle breaks, check the machine to see if the needle is inserted correctly. The needle is bent or blunt. The needle clamp screw is loose. The tension of the needle thread is too tight. The fabric is not drawn to the back after sewing. The needle is too fine for the fabric being sewn. Or whether the pattern selected aisle has been turned while the needle was in the material. If the stitches skip, check to see if the needle is inserted correctly. The needle is bent or blunt. The needle or threads are not suitable for the fabric being sewn. The blue tipped needle is not being used for sewing stretch. Very fine fabrics and synthetics. Or whether the needle thread is not threaded properly. If you notice puckering at the seams, check to see if the needle thread tension is too tight. The machine is not threaded correctly. The needle is too heavy for the fabric being sewn or the stitches are too coarse for the fabric being sewn. If the stitches form loops below the work, check to see if the needle thread tension is too loose or the needle is either too heavy or too fine for the thread.